encontramos en un momento de lujo eh, una, una chica que ya muchos de ustedes conocen, una gran voz de las mejores en la actualidad. Tiene material discográfico como solista. Estamos hablando de Tarja Turunen. First of all, thank you very much for having this interview. It's an honor with you. Thank you very much. And now we're in the Finland Embassy, so you can feel a little bit like home. Yes, isn't it nice? What a place! <laughs> Look, jardín. It's, it, it's like it's like Finland, a lot of green. Yes, a lot I love of it. Garden. I love it. It's very different when you go through the horrible traffic and you come here like. <gasps> Am I in the same country? No. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I know, I know. Now, talking about this album and my winter storm, um, I guess that um, it was really important for you because for everything that happened, this, this material, what could be the biggest challenge doing this album for you? Well, the biggest challenge actually that I can tell you was to make everybody involved understand what I wanted to do. You know, it was new record company people, the production people, the band members, everything, you know. I needed to keep everything in my hands, you know, very fight for it, fight for the dream of mine, in a way, as bad it sounds, but yeah. in a way it was the hardest challenge really to make everybody understand. Cool, and now talking about, about the, the single I Walk Alone, it's a great song and, and starting with the title. Um, it, it, that was on purpose that that uh, particular song with that particular title, it would be the first single of the album? Well, I was not the one that really came along with the idea. The record company came along with the idea. I got the song. It's not written by me. There were a couple of guys from Sweden that gave this uh, song for me already a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very important song for me because it gave me the whole title of my winter storm means to me this album this title of my winter storm and also connected with i walk alone means my fans they are the reason that i am still here making my music yeah and i'm very grateful for them so i walk alone was not about my past with night which was not that i am now feeling i'm walking alone i'm actually feeling that i'm walking with my fans yeah. that have been there so it's important song, very important. And now, talking about the lyrics, now you, you became involved uh, with, yes. uh, with uh, most of the lyrics of the album. How different was the creating process right now? Th with this album, you have more freedom. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, with Nightwish, Thomas uh, write most yes. of the songs. Yes. Uh, how different was? Definitely the first step as a songwriter for me, huge step. And uh, seriously speaking, I mean, I was so happy, but a bit nervous also to come up with own songs now, come up with own lyrics, to see how people will react. But it's you, to realize in the end that there is no mistakes you can do. <laughs> in a way, if yeah. you really feel yourself that you are, this is you, you want to explore your inner thoughts, that's it, that's what matters. And it's like that. Now the songs that I'm writing at the moment are coming along very easily, a lot easier, of course. It was the first step for me. <laughs> but but uh, I really believe that the, when you create something, like you say, it, 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 it's, it's not a mistake because no. you're creating it and it's no. in your own point of it's view. It's your passion and it's in your interest. It's living inside of you. So I am making music for me, what it makes me happy. Mm. And I'm very blessed that I'm able to do music because I know many artists, great talents that are not able to still, you know, they don't have the proper organization or proper people behind or <laughs> it's not easy today to be I an know. artist no. well and now now talking talking again about the album when i when i hear the album i i find fantastic the way that you uh, make a balance between uh your opera side and and your rock side your metal side how hard was to find that balance that is uh, <laughs> one of the most difficult parts you know that uh, People, they tend to, they are used to categorize things. And I have since I was, I think, 15 years old, I felt that I can't, I'm a singer. I do not feel of doing only one kind of music. Or I want to see what there is in, in music for me. I want to learn. And my voice is the biggest inspiration for me because there is always some problems or there is always something to learn. And my opera, or my classical influences evolving to the film music, it's a kind of softer way of talking about classical music, film music. And combining them with the metal elements, I love that. I truly love that. And it's completing me and my interests. And, and now, you were talking um, a, 
a little while about about when you were young that you start uh, creating music and you start really young. I mean, you start uh, in class since you were like six, something like that. Um, how uh, I mean, w when you were when you were a kid, uh, how hard is to man to maintain that dream that I want to be a, a, a singer, but mm -hmm. a, a musician because you 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 play like different uh, a lot of different instruments at the time, right? Yes, yes. Definitely. How hard was to, to find? For me, it was the only. I mean, I was very passionate, lively kid, uh, playing alone in a in a way because I have two brothers, so we were having big age differences. We were most or less fighting against each other all the time. <laughs> no, but I was having that kind of background that I needed to be strong and uh, maintain with my dreams and wishes and I have always been like that so music was the only thing I felt right to do and uh, it was so strong there was no other options and my parents for God's sake it was very great to have such a parents that they were really supportive so in Finland we have great schools they're government supportive so it's very different. I'm a, I know what you mean. Here, for example, it's very different. It's really hard. Mm. And, and then uh, you moved to, to the uh, Siverius, Siverius, the, Siverius, the school. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess that uh, most, well, some people doesn't find a mix between uh, classic music and rock. So when you were there and you start mixing, how was the reaction of the rest of the class, of the teachers? I was nervous. I was <laughs> nervous, to be honest. I was very nervous how they will react and what they think. But then when the success came with Nightwish and they saw me doing it seriously and there was no way that I... It was my privilege and, and priority and it was kind of... I was making it very clear for my teachers that this is what I'm doing and uh, that's it. And my teachers, my vocal coaches, they were really supportive and this is...